Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show how you can run any Python program as a background process on any Unix or Unix-like operating system, that is any Mac system or any Linux distribution and so on. Okay, so the first thing that we need to understand here is that any process running on our computers can be classified into two categories, which is a foreground process or a background process. A foreground process is a process which you can start from the terminal and then you have to wait until that process gets completed. Actually, this is the default behavior. Basically, if you run any Python script, then you must have seen that you have to wait until that script's execution gets completed. Only after that, you can run another command on your terminal or you can say on that current terminal session. But now, consider a situation where you are running a Python script which is taking a lot of time to get executed. You can say in a way that it is a computationally intensive process which is going on here. Well, in that case, you will observe that you cannot run any other command on your current terminal session and in a way, your terminal is, you can say, busy or you can say in a hung up state, right? So for those kind of situations, we have the concept of background processes. So what is a background process? A background process is a process which you can, again, start from the terminal but it has a very interesting property that no user intervention is allowed once you have started a background process and because of that the terminal has nothing to care about that particular process and that's why the terminal will simply move on to the next line and it will be able to accept any other command from the user and it will execute the next command so that is the thing about the background processes but now consider the situation that you have written a python script which requires a lot of user inputs well, in that case, you can either write a file which can provide the input directly, but if it requires user input, like in the normal cases, when you just use the input function, in those kind of cases, you cannot interact with your background process. So for those kind of cases, I would suggest that you use the Python program to be run as a foreground process only. But let's say your Python program is quite computationally and uh, computationally intensive and does not require a lot of input and output in that case you can simply run your python program as a background process well that's enough of theory and now in this video i'm going to show you how you can run any python program as a background process so without any delay let's get started okay so here is my terminal and i'm currently at my desktop folder and now here i have created a python script called test.py so I have already written a very simple Python program for you in which I have imported the time module. I have set a variable x as zero and I have written a while loop in which I am setting a sleep of time interval of one second and then I am incrementing the value of variable x and I'm, then I'm gonna print the value of x. So this is a very simple Python script that I've written which is just gonna print the values one, two, three, four and so on at time interval of one second. So now how do we run this Python script as a foreground process? Well, that's quite simple and that is what we have already been doing till now, which is you just write Python or Python 3, depending upon the interpreter that you want to use and then you write test.py and when you run it, you will see that this script starts running. Now the thing is that as this script is running right now, I have to wait to run any other command on my current terminal session, right? So this is the thing. So now let me close this foreground process. And now let's talk about how to run it as a background process. So in order to run any, any command on your terminal as a background process, what you have to do is you have to just put an AND symbol at the end of your command like this. So this symbol, what it will do is that it will tell your terminal to run this command or to execute this command as a background process. So this is the syntax for that. And when I run it, let's see what happens. Look at that. It gave me the ID of my background process, which is 1230. But now another interesting thing that you can see here is that I am getting 1234. I'm still getting the output here, right? Well, but if you see, I am also getting, I'm also able to run the commands as well. So now what is happening here is that these numbers are getting outputted on my current terminal screen only because by default, the Python interpreter will simply output any output generated by your python program on the terminal itself so that is the default behavior and that is not overridden if you are running it even as a background process 
So what I have to do here is that, and look at that, I cannot even stop my background process by pressing Ctrl C because background process is running on its own, right? So first of all, let's see how to stop this background process. And after that, we will see a, a solution for not printing anything on this terminal screen. Instead, I would like to print all the output in, a, in some file, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is that I know the process ID. So I will just open another terminal session and I will do kill hyphen nine one two three zero. So kill hyphen nine one two three zero. What this command will do is that it will kill a process with a process ID one two three zero and hyphen nine is a signal which tells the terminal to kill that process immediately. So let me just run that and if we try to look here, look at that. It is saying the process with the ID one two three zero got killed. Right? So it means that we have successfully killed our background process. Now, how do I ensure that the output from my Python program does not get printed on the terminal itself? Well, for that, we can use this symbol, which tells the terminal to pipe, you can say, all the output produced by this particular command's execution to a file whose name you write here, which is, let's say, OUT. Let's say I want all the output from my this command's execution to be put in this file called OUT. So this is how you do that. You put this symbol and then you write OUT. So all the output produced by python 3 testpy will be put into OUT file and then I will put AND symbol to ensure that it's a background process. So now let me run this command and look at that. It is saying that the process ID is 2047 and I am not getting any output here now on the terminal. And if I just do ls to see my current directories, files and folders, then I see that a file called OUT got generated, right? So let me just check out the contents of OUT. So how do I check the contents of a file? A best, the best way to do that is to use tail hyphen f OUT, the name of the file. So tail is a command, a Unix command, which helps you to see last few lines of your provided file that you specify here and hyphen f is an argument which is to ensure that if any changes are happening in your current file then those should get printed um, while you are viewing your file itself through the tail command so dash f means follow so it will just keep printing any dynamic changes which are happening to my out file so we will see its significance in some time so right now if i just run this Look at that, I'm not getting anything, which means that my file seems to be empty, right? My file seems to be empty. Let me just do cat out to just see all the contents. It is saying it is empty, right? So my file is empty, which is quite weird because I know that my Python script was generating some output, right? So what's happening here? Well, what is happening here is that by default, all the output generated by your this current, um, you can say command is kept in some buffer memory. And only when this process will get com uh, the, this process will get complete only after that the complete output will be put into the out file and this is happening because of the default behavior of the python interpreter that it keeps accumulating all the output into its buffer memory and only when that buffer memory is full you can say then you will just put all the output into the specified output file so that is why we are not getting we are not seeing any output here so that is a problem and then how i solve the pro this problem is um, I will specify to the Python inter interpreter to use unbuffered output. So first of all, let me kill my currently running process, which is having the ID 2047. So I will do kill hyphen nine two zero four seven, and I will press enter. So it's killed, as you can see, it's killed, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I will do Python three and then I will do hyphen u. So what hyphen u argument will tell Python interpreter is that it doesn't have to keep the output in the buffer memory. Basically it's unbuffered output. So hyphen u is an argument which specifies unbuffered output, which simply means that any print command in your current Python script, the output generated by that command will simply be put into this file called out. So this, that's why I want, that's, uh, that's how I can see all the output which is being generated um, live. So let me just run this Python program and now my background process is running and now let me just do tail hyphen f out. So let's see, look at that. We are getting all the output here. 
Now it might seem like that it is looking like a foreground process but actually not because if I just close the file I am not getting anything right so tail hyphen have out and we are getting the output so in this way I am able to see whatever is happening in my current um, log file you can say in a way it's kind of a log file right so this is how it is working let me just do tail hyphen have out on this another terminal session as well so this is my another terminal session this is a terminal session where my background process was running and this is another terminal session that I have opened. So now let me, um, you can say, let's say exit out of my original terminal session in which I created the background process by closing this terminal. Okay, so I close that and look at that. What happened is no output is now being generated. Why is it happening? Well, it's actually happening because once you close a terminal, any process running through that terminal will also get stopped so it is kind of a hang up signal which is generated whenever a user logs out of a terminal whenever a terminal is exited a hang up signal is sent to all the processes and all the processes are closed as well so that's why our background process also got closed but now this situation is quite, quite undesirable in most of the cases like if you have run a background process then it, is sim it simply means that you do not care about the terminal you just want your process to keep running right so in order to keep running a background process even if the parent terminal is closed what you have to do is that you have to use the no hub command it's no hub so no hub means no hang up so you do not want to hang up any process which is you do not want to kill any process if you kill the actual terminal so no hub and then you have to write your actual command which is in this case python3 hyphen u for unbuffered output test.py and then putting all the output into a file called out and then putting an and symbol to make it a background process now one thing you should notice here is that I'm gonna remove this um, small part of my command where I'm telling to put all the output into the file called out because by default no hub command will pipe all your output into a file called nohub.out so a file will automatically get generated which will be kind of a log file for you and that's why I'm not specifying any X file explicitly okay so let me just run this script like this so look at that it is saying that this is my process ID 4360 and it is saying that nohub is ignoring any input by the user and it is appending the output to a file called nohub.out so let me just do ls to see well yes i can see that a file called nohub.out got created itself so that's why i skipped the part of using a file another file and specifying another file explicitly because nohub.out already contains all my output so now let me just do tail hyphen f nohub.out to see if everything is working fine and look at that everything is working fine my output is being generated and now just to ensure that the no hang the, the no hang up condition is um, valid let me just create another terminal session let me just do tail hyphen f no hub dot out so this is the output that I'm currently getting and now let me just close my parent terminal session so I will just close it like this and let us see so look at that we are still getting the output which means that the background process is still running just to be satisfied let me just close this and let me just open another terminal for you and here let me just move to the desktop and now let me just do again tail hyphen f no hub dot out so look at that it is still running so it means that my background process is now still running and it is independent of the closing or opening of any terminal and yeah so this is the best thing that we wanted so in this way you are able to run your Python program as a background process which keeps on running even if you close the parent terminal but how do I stop this process now because I have forgotten the process ID so now we have to find a fix that if we do not know the process ID of our background process then how can we go about um, you can say exiting out of our background process or stopping our background process well in order to do that what you have to do is um, let me first of all enlarge it a bit okay so what you have to do here is that you have to use the ps command or you can say psax command so what it will do is that it will show you all the currently running processes so now psax 
and then I am just using um, the grep command which is used for you can say pattern matching so grep and I, then I will write the then I can write let's say test.py so what is happening here is that psax is the command which is first of all running it is generating some output and over that I am running my pattern matching which is just searching for the pattern called test.py on my um, the, uh, the psax output so let's run that so look at that we are getting the output in this form so as you can see that test.py is in some other color which is the which is because of the grep because grep has found a pattern match and this is the actual um, process which we wanted to find so 4360 is my process id so how do i stop it i will simply do now kill hyphen 9 and i will write 4360 that's it and this will stop my process so if i just run this again i will get something else this is not actually my test.py so yeah so in this way i was able to close my background process as well even if i forgot its process id you just use some pattern which can which is similar to the command which you used for executing your background process so in this way you will be able to close it so yeah so this was all i hope you um enjoyed this complete process of understanding a lot of new unix commands and how to actually run any python program as a background process if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching